As part of our series, The Missing, we're exploring the science of forensic art and the role that it plays in finding missing people and solving local crime. In part one, Fox 26 anchor Caitlin Monty introduces us to one of less than a dozen full time forensic artists in America. Who are you? I am a full time forensic artist for the Houston Police Department. And you were previously a police officer? Yes, I've been a police officer for over 20 years. So how did you end up here? It's a long story. I've always been fascinated with art. Um, the previous forensic artist, Lois Gibson, saw some of my artwork and said, you need to be a forensic artist. But she was the uh, considered the number one forensic artist in the United States. There's a very few forensic artists in the United States, full-time forensic artists in the United States. I think, I believe there's only 20, 21 positions like that in the United States. And the Houston Police Department has two of them now. Thurston Johnson is the newest on the scene, speaking just months after going from part to full time as a forensic artist with the Houston Police Department. Thurston says he primarily works with crime victims to recreate an image of the person who wronged them. To me, that's part of police work. Typically, artists are expressing themselves, but in this case, you're doing something very specific. How does it feel to to be working on something that has such dire consequences for people? Well, to me, I. I, I like pressure. And to me, it's not pressure. I feel like I'm helping out uh, a citizen of the city of Houston. I feel like I'm helping them solve their own case, their own crime. While witness memory sketches take up most of his time, Thurston also helps families who believe their missing loved one may still be alive. Uh, usually you age progress uh, a missing person every three to five years to come up with what they might look like. So maybe there's a chance they can be found. How do you do that? Uh, well, their lines in the face, your ears and nose never stop growing, you know. So when you present a finished age progression to somebody and they see that for the first time, what are those interactions like? Uh, they were very excited. Um, they loved the artwork. They were, they were hopeful. They were hopeful in that. They were grateful that we were able to help. Were you an artist growing up? How did you learn? No, I wasn't an artist growing up. I, I loved art. I found it fascinating. I used to draw all the time. Uh, I have family. My family are full of artists and musicians, so uh, I'm just picking up where they, where they left off. So how does an amateur artist get a full-time job doing such high-stakes work? And who is the Houstonian with the world record for solving cases with art? Thurston and others on his team will talk about that throughout this week in our exclusive multi-part series on The News Edge at 6 and 10 p.m.